Good afternoon. I'm here with uh, the Superior International Junior Hockey League. I'm joined by soccer coach Darren, uh, Matt Houston, and uh, Tate Roxon. Um, hard game today. Uh, coach Darren can give us a couple opening statements about the game. I mean, it was desperation for us. I mean, we had to come out strong, and I thought the first 20 minutes, I mean, we, we played our game plan, and uh, we pounded them, and we took the body, and I thought we uh, dominated the first period. As far as uh, the rest of the game, we got away from it a bit there. We got into, definitely got into some undisciplined penalties, which uh, took over the game, and uh, it cost us some goals at key times. Matt, was it, was it frustration or lack of discipline going into the second, like middle, second, third? Uh, I think a little bit of both, honestly, like just uh, like Coach said, just uh, undisciplined penalties, that kind of thing. We had uh, about 10 tonight and uh, just really gossed us when they, they had about five power play goals today. And that's something that, you know, we got to cut that down if we want to actually succeed as a team. So we'll just build on it and move forward. You guys came out in the, in the first period pumping and grinding. They didn't like it. And then going into the second, it was still the bump and grind with a little bit of frustration and the lack of discipline just over. Yeah, I mean, we played our game plan for the first period, but then it just kind of got a little bit slower and slower as we kept going throughout the game. So that was just, yeah, lack of discipline, I guess you could say. And Tate, with getting MVP, uh, Debbie Hewitt Cup is uh, something quite big for a career. Yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, the win's what we, uh, what we want when we go out on the ice, but uh, it's a nice accolade to get. And you, you're, like I say, really to happen through the game. Was it just to give Chase a, a little bit of a chance with a new trade because you've been on the ice probably every game for the playoffs and everything? Yeah, I think that. And uh, it was kind of getting away for uh, from us. So I think it was a bit of a wake up call for the guys to uh, get them going. But uh, obviously, it's not something that I, I'm looking forward to in a game. But uh, it happens and got to move forward. And you've seen, like, I was looking 2,100 units so far this year. So it's, uh, yeah. you've got a lot of ice. So it can be a different close game, but when it's. Yeah. Coach Darren, going in with your backs against the wall, what do you what do you what do you do going into uh, tomorrow's uh, final game? Well, we just this could be our last game of the season, so we got 20 year olds that are going to be moving on next year, and this could be it for them. So I think uh, I think Fort's going to be up for a good game. I mean, we want to finish strong, and we've played Fort. We got a better taste in our mouth from you know losing to them, and we just battled six games hard with them. Fort knows we can beat them. Fort needs to win tonight to secure. You know, they don't want to have to play us tomorrow. We outright win. win. We get three points. They don't win tonight. We're in the driver's seat. We get a shot at going again Friday. So, as you know, we have to come out strong tomorrow night, and Fort's going to be battling for sure. They're not going to want to play us. And Matt, being, being I say, close to home for your hockey season, um, hometown crowd tomorrow with Fort, but Dryden, they're saying some fans are coming. How do you guys? Deal with the hometown crowd. Ah, uh, you know, just stay calm in the in that environment. You know, they're going to be loud and they're going to be right in our face in the class. But uh, I think just you know play the game the way we know how to play and the way we've been playing. But uh, I think just kind of up the the work kind of thing. You know, we'll be working hard and we we'll dump in pucks and we'll be playing. So I mean, just kind of try to ignore all the you know the crowd and all that thing. Just. We'll have hometown crowd coming and watching us. So yeah, I think just kind of, yeah. Yeah. Like the referee, so I can get that behind the team running that for a while. Yeah, a little bit. support you guys quite well. Referee wise. Yeah, yeah. that way. So, so, okay, thank you guys enough. Good luck tomorrow against Fort. Thank you very much, guys.